Okay, so in here is the ground beans and here are the beans. Obviously you want to ground the beans by turning this lever all the way to the right. In doing so, the beans will be ground into here and then once they are ground, you just pull this lever and the coffee will come out. You kind of want it to be the same level as uh, it goes in and then you want to flatten it out. Once it's flat, you're going to grab the tamp. So it kind of looks like that. And you can give it a tap just to smooth it out and apply some pressure again. And that's the tamp. The amount of pressure you want to apply is not a lot, but it's firm enough maybe to um, push open a, a door that's slightly uh, stiff. Next, you're gonna move over to the machine. And if you look over here, you have several different options. You, we're going to click the last option, the one closest to where the light is. You first wanna run it for a second, just so that the hot water uh, that's there, that's overheating, can just be released. And then just slide it so that it's firm in place so that nothing can move it. Grab your two cups, click the button, and then you're gonna let the coffee just pour out. That's kind of what you're looking for. Something that's not too fast or too slow. For the milk, you want to just pour it in. So just before it starts indenting, that's where you wanna stop. Well, that's how much milk you wanna put. If you're using this jug, specifically the one that has the temperature on it, then you don't need to worry. Otherwise, if you're using another jug, I would suggest using this and then stop just as the uh, temperature gauge hits the green. So for milk, you just want to uh, spray it out before, so you want to purge it. You want to put the spout into the milk just so that the, uh, the nozzle of it goes in. And you kind of want to hear it like paper tearing. That's the sound you want to go for. So you want to get movement around your jug, a circular movement. Because what it's doing is it's aerating all the milk. The bottom over here went black, so I know the temperature is right. My milk is fine. You just want to wipe the spout and purge it. So I just heat up another jug by just putting the spout in the jug and now it's hot enough for me to put the milk in without losing the quality of the milk. I'll put half my milk in the one jug and my other half in the other. Grab a cup of coffee, tilt it slightly, tilt it slightly and now I want to pour. Start by pouring into the center, making some twirls. and then you come back with a finish there.